So let's look forward. What do you think, uh, you know, what aspects of your current role do you find most stimulating and rewarding? And I know that some of it we've already talked about, but like looking into the future, how things are changing, BIM and, uh, you know, overall technology, the VR, AR, like, you know, what is it that is exciting uh, in the future? So I'll, I'll build on what I said before that I enjoy learning and I enjoy teaching and mentoring. Mm -hmm. um, to build on that, watching the evolution through not necessarily generations, but uh, co-worker generations. So mm -hmm. someone that I've been working with um, for 20 years now, I've learned things with at the same time. I've taught them things. I coached them on things. And as the time has gone on, I've seen them coach the next level and show them what I had once shown them. But they build on it. They evolve the information. It includes technological advantages. So um, BIM, Revit, for example, has come a long ways. So the way that mm -hmm. I used to do things has changed. Um, so to see them coach a person on how to do something, but how to do it more efficiently is really cool. I, I think that's mm -hmm. incredible, watching that evolution of mentoring over the years. And from from an architecture standpoint, lo looking forward, uh, de design is exciting. We're, we're, we're design professionals. Um, we have more freedom of materials and systems than really any point in, in, in the past. And um, how we leverage those is, is is kind of up to us and and our project teams and our clients. Um, it, it's really the, the the pace of of innovation is is astounding. So um, keeping current, keeping up with with uh, trends, setting trends ourselves is, is 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 important to us as design professionals. Uh, like it's like I said, we're design oriented people. Um, freeing up time for us to do that stuff is is ideal uh, if, if if we have the tools if we have more uh tools to to do that um that's that that's that's essential to to our workflow um we also need to consider the future of what the workforce might look like we might need to do the same level of service and, and work with less people um or people that are are are, are spread over larger geographic areas um so again being 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 collaborating collaborating in real time, uh, firms need to figure out how to get leaner, meaner, um, while still meeting our 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 professional obligations, our clients' expectations, and 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 trying to be profitable at, at the same time. So that's that's what's kind of exciting as, as I as I look forward to the future. Yeah, Justin. no, that's uh, that's exciting. Justine, nice. do you have something? Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with everything that that Ryan said, you know, especially, you know, now we've got younger staff that have totally different skill sets than we um, developed. And so, you know, we're mentoring them, but then they're also teaching us new things and how to improve and stay fresh and make sure that we're not, you know, getting into the the old ruts of things. So I think I think that's an interesting an interesting thing that we may not have expected to to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Uh, so uh, I grew up with computers and technology. Um, uh, we had the first working home computer in Wisconsin, and I learned how to program in BASIC when I was eight or nine, and mm -hmm. um, I. I I played with Lisp. I've played with all kinds of different things, and always apply technology in in a new way. Um, what I think the future project management is more interaction between the model and uh, mobile viewers and architectural content, not mm -hmm. drawing or paper content. So what we need is more and more project management software that helps focus on the value add to us, the managing those things so that we can add more value to the client. Um, we did really good for 20 years and focusing on uh, documents and things like that. And now I'm looking for the next step. 
And Why? I mean, we're on the verge of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, exciting. Like, I think uh, there's a, there is a lot happening on the level of where everything is, collaboration is happening on the 3D level, right, or the actual model. But um, a lot of education, a lot of, lot of uh, technology availability is required. And of course, um, end of the day, the the rules of the game have to change too, right? Like documents are contractual um, obligations. And I think till that changes, it's a tough one to change from that. That's my understanding as a one-year-old person in <laughs> architectural uh, industry, right? Uh, yeah, so. that's, that's interesting you bring that up because before computers, there was hand drawings and then there was mm. AutoCAD and there was digital drawings. And over the last 20 years, there's been this evolution to 3D modeling and BIM. Right. And it has the capability for contractors to add their material information to and continue building an actual building information model. But there's still this resiliency to print to PDF mm -hmm. from your BIM model and build off of that. And I think that is... I'm excited because I think that hurdle is going to get crossed in the well, that's still That's still our instrument of service, mm -hmm. right? Is And that's still the contract is set up that way yeah. in, in the U.S. Okay. So, yeah. 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 And we've we've seen some people, you know, Frank Gehry famously, right? He, he delivers uh, not paper, uh, but, you know, they work right off the, the BIM model, what we would call the BIM model today. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I, that's all going to evolve. And right. And um, I think the way that we contract is going to change the the way architecture gets done. You know, we, the, right now, a lot of our fee, a third of our fee is spent doing construction documents. I don't know if that's going to be that way in 20 years. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. <laughs> that's at least a vision, right? And I have heard in Europe they are adopting more of that. Um, uh, but it's a slow, slow, th slow things in North America in that sense. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. So 